students will uh, discuss today about the characteristics of sound sound is a wave which is longitudinal in nature but uh, in uh, solid it may be transverse also so you don't think that it is always uh, it is not that it is always longitudinal but longitudinal in uh, case of uh, gases or uh, medium but in case of uh, in a solid when uh, sound travels in solid uh, it can be a mixture of uh, transverse wave and as well as uh, longitudinal wave but basically we know sound wave as uh, we deal the sound wave as a longitudinal wave because uh, we hear sound and uh, therefore we consider it as you know we hear sound in air obviously so it is uh, longitudinal in nature now characteristics of sound there are uh, three characteristics sound has that will study Characteristics of sound. Three things we have to underline and then discuss. First is loudness. The second point is called the pitch. The third one is called the quality or sometimes called timber. Quality or timber. Now, loudness, pitch, and quality of timber. These are the subjective property of uh, subjective property of sound. So, in physics, we can only measure the objective property. When it is subjective, it is difficult to measure things. Like uh, loudness is uh, related to intensity of sound. Okay, loudness is related to intensity of sound. An intensity of sound is related to the amplitude of the sound wave. That means uh, intensity of any wave is related to the amplitude of that wave and that intensity determines the loudness. Intensity is the objective property of sound and uh, loudness is the subjective property. Loudness is that characteristic of sound wave by which we can distinguish sound waves having same frequency we can distinguish those two sound waves even if they have same frequencies by a property that is called loudness if I say so as loudness is related to the intensity so more intense means more loudness okay so if I speak uh, slowly that means uh, loudness is low if I speak loudly then the loudness is uh, the intensity is high okay so I'll discuss about the loudness here It is that characteristics of sound wave by virtue of which we can distinguish two different uh, waves of uh, same frequency. The frequency might be same, but then something is there that uh, helps us to distinguish them. That is called the loudness, and uh, that is related to. intensity so loudness depends on intensity and intensity depends upon square of the amplitude of the wave now if uh, I draw a graph like this any graph like this here this is the amplitude the square of the intensity will be square of the amplitude if I take another wave like this, the 
like this then uh, this wave uh, has amplitude which is different than a is obviously greater so let us say this is a dash or a prime so this a prime is greater than a that means the intensity of this uh, this wave okay is more because uh, then a dash square is greater than a square intensity i dash is greater than intensity i so the intensity of this pink wave i dash is greater than the intensity of this even if they have same frequency you can see that the uh, frequency is same and uh, also the wavelength might be same but then they differ with the property called loudness okay so this uh, this one is having a greater loudness than this in case of uh, uh, we will take uh, the case of a uh, pitch in case of a pitch what happens in case of a pitch so in pitch it is uh, that characteristics of uh, sound wave by virtue of which we can uh, distinguish to sound waves having same loudness the intensity might be same but then uh, the pitch will be different so pitch is basically related to frequency pitch is related to frequency as loudness is related to intensity so the two waves they might have same loudness but they have different frequencies and then that we can uh, distinguish how that we perceive how we distinguish the change in the frequency the change in the frequency that we feel or observe the change in terms of the change in the pitch of the sound waves for example the pitch is basically related to the thinness of the sound the shrillness of the sound it is related to the sharpness of the sound, the thinness of the sound. For example, in case of a male voice and female voice, in case of a male voice and female voice, the female voice has a higher pitch. Here the pitch is high and in case of a male voice the pitch is low yes. the thinness uh, the thinness of the sound is uh, pitch okay so in case of uh, male voice the pitch is uh, low and in case of a female voice the pitch is high high pitch is uh, Shrillness is the shrillness of sound, the, and the low pitch, low frequency, high pitch implies high frequency, high pitch implies high frequency, shrill. low pitch implies low frequency implies flat sound this is uh, observed in uh, female this is observed in male yes. roaring of lion and uh, mosquitoes the mosquito has higher pitch because that is very thin still is more so mosquito has higher pitch compared to roaring of lion the lion has got a higher loudness compared to the mosquito so the flat sound the the lion has a higher loudness low pitch the mosquito has a higher pitch and low loudness now 
the the last part of uh, the characteristics the third characteristics is called the timber or quality of sound timber or quality it is that subjective property of uh, sound by virtue of which we distinguish two sound waves originating from two different sources they might have same pitch they might have same loudness if everything is same then how you distinguish that is in the form of waves the waveform they generate are different all in, in case of a uh, instruments uh, like uh, tabla and uh, harmonium and guitar and so the they you can set them to the same pitch you can set them to the same loudness but still we can distinguish the sound coming from tabla and then uh, sound coming from a guitar we can then distinguish them even if exactly they have the same pitch and loudness then what what characteristics of sound which makes us distinguish two sounds were coming from two different musical instruments having same pitch and loudness that characteristic is called timbre or quality okay this is basically related to waveform okay related to waveform so if i draw a diagram like this this is a one waveform might be this is might be one waveform and uh, this i will draw a simple one this might be another waveform you can see the almost the amplitude equal match the that means the intensity will match the loudness may same for both the instruments sending waves the frequencies are also matching you can see the pitch is same pitch is uh, the frequency is the number of uh, oscillations or vibrations occurring per second so these vibrations are occurring uh, you can find in one second how many such vibrations are possible so that is there then uh, we distinguish because of the this waveform you see the waveform here is something different that we can distinguish okay so this is uh, known as the quality or timber that means uh, distinguishing two musical instruments uh, having both uh, everything identical still they, they are the property there is a property which uh, makes uh, uh, them separately separate that is known as uh, quality or timber okay so that's all about the characteristics we will uh, end our next uh, uh, video dealing with uh, some numerical part okay thank you